Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. I got a very cool tutorial today on something that I've seen in an infographic. And this is an effect that's used quite a bit lately. And it's that sort of bouncing effect, the spring effect. And you can see everything that moves into frame sort of springs back and forth a little bit as it settles down into place. So I was trying to figure out how to do this uh, in After Effects and I posted on Twitter and asked some people uh, for their advice and I got lots of great feedback, uh, lots of different plugins and scripts to use. I'll post them all in this blog, but I'm just gonna show you one real quick today. And this one was pointed out to me by uh, a website called digitalsandwich.net. And I highly recommend this. They have a lot of great tutorials on here. They have a free stuff category where they have some Cinema 4D models, some free cherries, a free uh, football, and then they have a plugin that's free also. So check this out, digitalsandwich.net. Um, I always like to correlate uh, how you do it in Cinema 4D and then how you do it in After Effects. So we're going to call this basically the After Effects version of the delay effector. So I'll just show you that really quick. Let's go ahead and make a uh, cube and let's move it across the screen very quickly and here it is it eases in and eases out basically so if we want this to spring we're going to add a delay effector let's go ahead and go to MoGraph effector delay effector now you can't do this with a cube there's no way to add the delay effector to it unless we put the cube as part of a MoGraph module so we're going to do that by adding a fracture object we can go ahead and click the fracture object and put the cube inside of it and then in the fracture object, we have this effectors tab on here and we'll drag the delay effector on there. Now in the delay effector, let's change the mode uh, from blend to spring. And then we'll go ahead and check this out. You can see that it's sort of wobbling back and forth. We can go to the delay effector, kick that up to uh, 80 or something and see a little bit more of a drastic effect. So that's how you do it in Cinema 4D. Now let's figure out how we can do it in After Effects. So let's go ahead and do it with text on this one. We'll go ahead and make my name here and let's position it off screen go ahead and hit p make a position keyframe go 10 or so frames down put it in the middle and then it has another keyframe there already all right so here's what it's going to look like pretty basic keyframes pretty boring so the way we're going to have that kind of springy action at the end is we're going to add a script now this script i've went ahead and copy and pasted it and i put it into a text document and i saved this in a expressions folder. Uh, so go ahead and copy and paste this. I'll put this on my blog. Copy and paste this and put it in a scripts folder and save that somewhere on your computer where you'll remember it. I have a whole bunch of different scripts and I save them uh, so that I know exactly where they are. So all you have to do is hit Alt and then click on the position keyframe. This is gonna make an expression. All you have to do is hit paste right here and then click off. And now if we drag this down, all this stuff you don't need to worry about except for these top three. These are basically the script uh, parameters that you can change. So by default, this is what it's gonna look like. And you can see that already we have a really cool sort of wobbling effect. Right out of the gate, we're getting exactly what we want. And all it is is an expression between two keyframes. Now the cool thing about this is, if we want this to be a bit faster, all we have to do is drag our keyframe over and now the animation is going to be a lot faster. And these three uh, different parameters down here are very easy to modify. So the amplitude, let's uh, go to 0.01 instead of 0.1, and then it'll be a lot less kind of springy. The decay is how long it takes to settle down. Uh, so we can make that a little bit faster. And then the frequency, we can you can just play around with it and figure out what works best for you. But I mean, you already see, we already have that exact effect that we saw in that infographic. And all it is is a simple expression that you paste in there. Now, the cool thing is you can just go ahead and keep keyframing this uh, and not worry about the expression. So we'll make another position keyframe a little bit farther down, and then we'll move it over to here. And every keyframe is going to have that sweet little uh, springy effect. And you can add this on a scale parameter. You can add this on any parameter that you want and it'll kind of add that springing effect. Cool thing is if you don't want your objects to have this effect, but you want your camera to sort of swing around into place and say it rotates in and it kind of wobbles, you can just go ahead and add a camera. I'll click on the position of the camera and add this expression. And every time the camera moves, it'll have this effect. So I was super excited to find this script. There's some other uh, plugins like Ease and Wiz, uh, which I'll post in my, um, my blog post on this. But really this, uh, this script is exactly what I was looking for. Super quick way of adding a wobble effect 
and uh, kind of spicing up your infographics. So go ahead and play around with that. Thanks again to Digital Sandwich and thanks to all you guys for your great suggestions on Twitter. I appreciate it. And uh, go ahead and play around with this and have some fun. Thanks guys and we'll talk again next time. Bye.